In law, an unincorporated area is a region of land that is not governed by a local municipal corporation. Similarly, an unincorporated community is a settlement that is not governed by its own local municipal corporation, but rather is administered as part of larger administrative divisions, such as a township, parish, borough, county, city, canton, state, province, or country. Occasionally, municipalities dissolve or disincorporate, which may happen if they become fiscally insolvent, and services become the responsibility of a higher administration. Widespread unincorporated communities and areas are a distinguishing feature of the United States and Canada. In most other countries of the world, there are either no unincorporated areas at all, or these are very rare, typically remote, outlying, sparsely populated or uninhabited areas. By country Topic. Topic. Australia Topic. Unlike many other countries, Australia has only one level of local government immediately beneath state and territorial governments. A local government area LGA often contains several towns and even entire cities. Thus, aside from very sparsely populated areas and a few other special cases, almost all of Australia is part of an LGA. Unincorporated areas are often in remote locations, cover vast areas or have very small populations. Postal addresses in unincorporated areas, as in other parts of Australia, normally use the suburb or locality names gazetted by the relevant state or territorial government. Thus, there is rarely any ambiguity regarding addresses in unincorporated areas. Topic: Australian Capital Territory. Topic: The Australian Capital Territory has no municipalities and is in some sense an unincorporated area. The territorial government is directly responsible for matters normally carried out by local government. Topic. New South Wales Topic. The far west and north of New South Wales constitutes the unincorporated Far West region, which is sparsely populated and barely warrants an elected council. A civil servant in the state capital manages such matters as are necessary. The second unincorporated area of this state is Lord Howe Island. Topic. Northern Territory In the Northern Territory, 1.45% of the total area and 4.0% of the population are in unincorporated areas, including unincorporated Top End Region Finnis Mary, the largest, areas covered by the Darwin Rates Act Nullanby, Aliangula on Groot Island in the Northern Region, and Yalara in the Southern Region. South Australia in South Australia, 60% of the area is unincorporated and communities located within can receive municipal services provided by a state agency, the Outback Communities Authority. Victoria Victoria has ten small unincorporated areas, which are either small islands directly administered by the state or ski resorts administered by state-appointed management boards. Topic. Western Australia Topic. Western Australia is exceptional in two respects. Firstly, the only remote area that is unincorporated is the Abrolhos Islands, which is officially uninhabited and controlled by the WA Department of Fisheries. Secondly, the other unincorporated areas are A-class reserves either in, or close to, the Perth metropolitan area, namely Rottnest Island controlled by the Rottnest Island Authority and Kings Park Botanic Gardens and Parks Authority. Canada in Canada, depending on the province, an unincorporated settlement is one that does not have a municipal council that governs solely over the settlement. It is usually, but not always, part of a larger municipal government. This can range from small hamlets to large urbanized areas that are similar in size to towns and cities. 
For example, the urban service areas of Fort McMurray and Sherwood Park, of the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo and Strathcona County respectively, would be the fifth and sixth largest cities in Alberta if they were incorporated. In British Columbia, unincorporated settlements lie outside municipal boundaries entirely, and are administered directly by regional, county-level governments similar to the American system. Unincorporated settlements with a population of between 100 and 1,000 residents may have the status of designated place in Canadian census data. In some provinces, large tracts of undeveloped wilderness or rural country are unorganized areas that fall directly under the provincial jurisdiction. Some unincorporated settlements in such unorganized areas may have some types of municipal services provided to them by a quasi governmental agency such as a local services board in Ontario. In New Brunswick where a significant population live in a local service district, taxation and services may come directly from the province. <inaudible> <inaudible> Czech Republic the entire area of the Czech Republic is divided into municipalities OBCE, with the only exception being four military areas. These are parts of the regions and do not form self-governing municipalities, but are rather governed by military offices which are subordinate to the Ministry of Defense. BRDY military area was abandoned by the Army in 2015 and converted into Landscape Park, with its area being incorporated either into existing municipalities or municipalities newly established from the existing settlements. The other four military areas were reduced in size in 2015 too. The decisions on whether the settlements join existing municipalities or form new ones are decided in plebiscites. Germany. Since Germany has no administrative level comparable to the townships of other countries, the vast majority of the country, close to 99%, is organized in municipalities German, Gemeinde, plural Gemeinden, often consisting of multiple settlements which are not considered to be unincorporated. Because these settlements lack a council of their own, there is usually an Ortsvorsteher, Ortsvorsteherin village chairman, chairwoman appointed by the municipal council, except in the very smallest villages. In 2000, the number of unincorporated areas in Germany, called Gemeindefreie Gebiet municipality free areas or singular Gemeindefreies Gebiet, was 295 with a total area of 4,890.33 square kilometers and around 1.4% of its territory. However, these are mostly unpopulated areas like forests, lakes and their surroundings, military training areas and the like. As of 31 December 2007, Germany had 248 uninhabited unincorporated areas of which 214 are located in Bavaria, not belonging to any municipality, consisting mostly of forested areas, lakes and larger rivers. There were also three inhabited unincorporated areas, all of which served as military training areas, Osterheide and Lohide in Lower Saxony, and Gutzbezirk Munzingen in Baden-Württemberg. They had fewer than 2,000 inhabitants in total. Gutzbezirk Munzingen, after losing its inhabited parts to adjacent municipalities on 1 January 2011, is uninhabited now. List The following shows the largest unincorporated areas in Germany including all inhabited areas, but excluding lakes with an area of more than 50 square kilometers. No inhabitants since 1 January 2011 as a result of reduction in area. In Bavaria, there are other contiguous unincorporated areas covering more than 50 square kilometers, these are however composed of several adjacent unincorporated areas combined, each of which is however under 50 square kilometers in area. <laughs> Netherlands the Netherlands has had regular periods with unincorporated land when newly reclaimed land polders fall dry. Unincorporated land is since medieval times administered by an appointed officer with the name Landdrost or Drossart. Also, Elton and Tutteren, both annexed from Germany after World War II, were governed by a Landdrost until they were ceded to Germany in 1963. The most recent period with unincorporated land started in 1967 when the dike around southern Flevoland was closed. 
It however requires several years before the polder is genuinely accessible for cultivation and construction of roads and homes can start, as in the first years the soil is equivalent to quicksand. During the initial period of inhabitation a special, government-appointed officer was installed, known as the Landrost. During the administrative office of a Landrost there is no municipal council. In 1975, the first homes in what is now the city of Almere were built and from 1976 to 1984 the area was governed by the Landrost as the executive of the Openbar Lycham Zuidelika Izelmirpalders Southern Izelmirpalders public body. In 1984 the Landrost became the first mayor of the new city Almere. Since that date the Netherlands does not have any unincorporated land areas. The Openbar Lycham remained however, only governing the water body of the Markermere. After the municipal division of the Wadden Sea 1985, the territorial waters in the North Sea 1991 and the Izelmere 1994, all water bodies are now also part of a municipality and there are no unincorporated areas in the Netherlands anymore. The Openbar Lycham Zuidelika Izelmirepalders was dissolved in 1996. Norway Topic In Norway January Mayen Svalbard and Bouvet Island are outside the division into counties and municipalities They are ruled directly by national authorities without any local democracy An exception is the Longyearbyen Community Council which since 2004 in reality acts partly like a Norwegian municipality Svalbard has a governor appointed by the government of Norway ruling the area January Mayen has no population, only radio and weather stations with staff, whose manager has the responsibility for the activities. Bouvet Island has only occasional visitors. <laughs> United States in local government in the United States, an unincorporated area generally refers to the part of a county which is outside any municipality. Most states have granted some form of home rule, so that county commissions or boards or councils have the same powers in these areas as city councils or town councils have in their respective incorporated areas. Some states instead put these powers in the hands of townships, which are minor civil divisions of each county, and are called towns in some states. Some American states have no unincorporated land areas, these include Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York and Rhode Island, although these states all have communities that are not separately incorporated but are part of a larger municipality. An unincorporated community is one general term for a geographic area having a common social identity without municipal organization or official political designation i.e., incorporation as a city or town. There are two main types of unincorporated communities. A neighborhood or other community existing within one or across multiple existing incorporated areas i.e., cities or towns. In this sense, a community is part of a municipal government, but not separately incorporated from it. For example, Hyannis, Massachusetts, is an unincorporated village within the town of Barnstable. A neighborhood or other community existing outside an incorporated municipal government. In this sense, the community is outside any municipal government, and entirely unincorporated. Examples include, Hovland, Minnesota, Ceresco, Michigan, Nutbush, Tennessee, and Yucca, Arizona, small rural settlements of low population. Due to differences in state laws regarding the incorporation of communities, there is a great variation in the distribution and nature of unincorporated areas. Unincorporated regions are essentially non-existent in seven of the northeastern states. All of the land in New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, and Rhode Island, and nearly all of the land in New Hampshire, Pennsylvania and Vermont, is part of an incorporated area of some type. In these areas, types and official names of local government entities can vary. In New England, which includes five of those eight states, plus the less fully incorporated state of Maine, local municipalities are known as towns or cities, and most towns are administered by a form of direct democracy, such as the open town meeting or representative town meeting. Larger towns in New England may be incorporated as cities, with some form of mayor-council government. In New Jersey multiple types exist as well, such as city, township, town, borough, or village, but these differences are in the structure of the legislative branches, not in the powers or functions of the entities themselves. On the opposite end of the spectrum is the Virginia, strong county, 
model. Virginia and other states with this model, such as Alabama, Maryland, and Tennessee, set strict requirements on incorporation or grant counties broad powers that in other states are carried out by cities, creating a disincentive to incorporate, and thus have large, urbanized areas which have no municipal government below the county level. Meanwhile, in other mid-Atlantic states, such as New York and Pennsylvania, a hybrid model that tries to balance the two approaches is prevalent, with differing allocations of power between municipalities and counties existing. Throughout the U.S., some large cities have annexed all surrounding unincorporated areas, creating what are known as consolidated city-county forms of government e.g., Jacksonville, Florida and Nashville, Tennessee. Conversely, there are a number of county islands that exist, where an unincorporated area is surrounded on most or all sides by municipalities. In areas of sparse population the majority of the land in any given state may be unincorporated. Some states, including North Carolina, grant extraterritorial jurisdiction to cities and towns but rarely villages, so that they may control zoning for a limited distance into adjacent unincorporated areas, often as a precursor and sometimes as a legal requirement to later annexation of those areas. This is especially useful in rural counties which have no zoning at all, or only spot zoning for unincorporated communities. In California, all counties except the city and county of San Francisco have unincorporated areas. Even in highly populated counties, the unincorporated portions may contain a large number of inhabitants. In Los Angeles County, the county government estimates the population of its unincorporated areas to exceed 1 million people. Despite having 88 incorporated cities and towns, including the state's most populous, 65% of the land in Los Angeles County is unincorporated, this mostly consisting of Angeles National Forest and sparsely populated regions to its north. California law makes no distinction between city and town, and municipalities may use either term in their official names. An unincorporated community may be part of a census-designated place CDP. A CDP is an area defined by the United States Census Bureau for statistical purposes only. It is a populated area that generally includes one officially designated but currently unincorporated community, for which the CDP is named, plus surrounding inhabited countryside of varying dimensions and, occasionally, other, smaller unincorporated communities as well. Otherwise, it has no legal status. In the context of the insular areas of the United States, the word unincorporated means that the territory has not been formally and irrevocably incorporated into the United States. See, United States Territory, unincorporated insular areas are therefore potentially subject to being sold or otherwise transferred to another power, or, conversely, being granted independence. There are currently five major unincorporated U.S. insular areas, American Samoa, Puerto Rico, Guam, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Northern Mariana Islands. Topic. USGS definition of populated place Topic. Unincorporated areas with permanent populations in the United States are defined by the U.S. government scientific agency United States Geological Survey USGS as populated places. A. Place or area with clustered or scattered buildings and a permanent human population city, settlement, town, village. There are no legal boundaries, although there may be a corresponding civil record, the boundaries of which may or may not match the perceived populated place. U.S. mail delivery Many unincorporated communities are also recognized as acceptable place names for use in mailing addresses by the United States Postal Service USPS. Indeed, some have their own post offices, and the United States Census Bureau uses the names of some widely recognized unincorporated communities for its census-designated places CDPs for which it tabulates census data. However, the USPS is very conservative about recognizing new place names for use in mailing addresses and typically only does so when a place incorporates. The original place name associated with a zip code is still maintained as the default place name, even though the name of the newly incorporated place is more accurate. As an example, Sandy Springs is one of the most populated places in Georgia, but is served by a branch of the Atlanta Post Office. Only after the city was incorporated in 2005 has Sandy Springs 
been approved by the USPS for use in mailing addresses, though Atlanta remains the default name. Accordingly, Atlanta is the only accepted place name for mailing addresses in the nearby unincorporated town of Vinnings, also served by a branch of the Atlanta Post Office, even though Vinnings is in Cobb County and Atlanta is in Fulton County. In contrast, neighboring Mableton has not been incorporated in nearly a century, but has its own post office and thus, Mableton is the only acceptable place name for mailing addresses in the town. The areas of Dula and Faria, California, which are unincorporated areas in Ventura County between Ventura and Carpinteria, have the zip code of 93001, which is assigned to the post office at 675 E Santa Clara Street in Ventura, thus, all mail to those two areas is addressed to Ventura. If an unincorporated area becomes incorporated, it may be split among zip codes, and its new name may be recognized as acceptable for use with some or all of them in mailing addresses, as has been the case in Johns Creek and Milton, Georgia. However, if an incorporated area disincorporates, this has no effect on whether a place name is acceptable in a mailing address or not, as is the case with Lithia Springs, Georgia. Zip code boundaries often ignore political boundaries, so the appearance of a place name in a mailing address alone does not indicate whether the place is incorporated or unincorporated. Topic. Other Topic. Some countries have some exceptional unincorporated areas. Denmark The Kingdom of Denmark has three unincorporated areas, the former naval fortress or Tholmain east of Bornholm with less than 100 inhabitants is still governed directly by the Ministry of Defense, the Northeast Greenland National Park and the Thule Air Base are unincorporated areas in Greenland. France exceptions are some small overseas possessions. Hong Kong except for the Lok Ma Chao Loop is divided into districts. In Israel all land except military areas is subdivided into 393 municipalities which are further classified normally by population as city, local council or regional council. All three types of municipality provide services including zoning and planning. Switzerland Switzerland also has a few exceptions, 22 lakes and a forest, as described by the Swiss Federal Statistical Office see Gemeindefreigebiet de. Slovakia is divided into municipalities. There are two types of municipalities, towns mesto, place mesta, and villages obec, place obce, with minor differences between them. Additionally, there are several military areas which are not part of any municipality. In fact, each military area is a municipality of its own right. However, the military areas hold no elections and have no mayors or other elected representatives. Instead, they are administered directly by the Slovak Ministry of Defense. Countries without unincorporated areas Many countries, especially those with many centuries of history using multiple tiers of local government, do not use the concept of an unincorporated area. The whole of the territories of Austria, Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Finland, France, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, the Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Serbia, Slovenia and Sweden are divided into municipalities. In Brazil, Chile and Mexico, all land must belong to a municipality. Even large uninhabited areas, such as forests or grasslands, are by law part of the nearest city. This is because in Latin America, a municipality is the equivalent of what in the United States and Canada is called a county. In mainland China, every piece of land belongs to a county level, third level administrative division equivalent to a municipality, either a district in an urban area, or a county level city county or banner There is also a township level, fourth level administrative division, which may be a subdistrict town township or sumu in Croatia, every piece of land belongs either to a city grad or to a municipality opsina. In the United Kingdom, in England, all land is within a county or local government district, both of which exercise power over their jurisdictions. In Scotland, all land is within one of 32 unitary authorities designated as councils. In Wales, all land is within one of 22 single-tier principal areas. 
In Northern Ireland, all land is within one of eleven districts. In Estonia, the entire territory is divided into 79 municipalities of which 14 are municipal towns and 65 are parishes. In France, the territory is subdivided into 36,685 communes municipalities. An elected council and a mayor form the governing body of a municipality. In Japan, every piece of land belongs to a municipality, of which there are four types, cities the special wards of Tokyo, towns or maki, villages In the Philippines, every piece of land belongs either to a city or lungsod or to a municipality or bayan. In Indonesia, every piece of land belongs to a municipality or a regency in Portugal, the Portuguese constitution defines territorial divisions as parishes, municipalities and administrative regions. There is no official definition of city limits so a city may include several parishes, or a parish may cover several villages or townships, but a municipality is usually administered from the city or town that bears its name. In South Africa, the constitution gives every place in the country democratically elected third-tier government. In South Korea, every piece of land belongs to a municipal either a district gu -gu -gu in a city C -C -C or a town U -B -E -U -P or township Mayan -mian -mian in a county Gun -jun -gun. In Spain, the Spanish Constitution of 1978 says that the land is divided into autonomous communities, provinces and municipalities. Each of these have certain powers determined by law. Autonomous communities and municipalities are enabled to appeal to the constitutional court any public decision that violates their autonomy by other entities state or autonomous community power. Nevertheless, some regions, like Navarra, have some unincorporated areas. The largest of these, the Bardinas Reals has a surface of 418 square kilometers and is governed by a board of representatives of 20 bordering municipalities, a valley in the Pyrenees, and a monastery, all of which have rights to use the area. In Sweden, all territory is divided into municipalities. Sweden has post-glacial rebound, meaning the land is rising by up to a metre 3 feet per century compared to sea level. But municipal borders extend into sea, giving such new areas a defined municipal belonging. In the Republic of China area Taiwan, Pescadores, Kinmen, and Matsu, every piece of land belongs to either an urban, rural township or a county-controlled city in counties or districts in cities There are, in total, 368 townships, county-controlled cities and districts in Taiwan. See also Administrative Divisions of Taiwan. Topic. See also Topic. Census designated place County island Unorganized territory Unparished area Topic. References Topic. <references>